Hey guys, it is Saturday, August 3rd, and I so far have edited the vlog, showered, and that's about it. I'm about to package some orders. I'm just looking for my mouse. I don't know where I put it. My other mouse, not the pink one, but the gray one. Is it out here? It's plugged into Christian's computer. Okay, this is a mess in here. This room has gotten grotesque again. Oh, hey, my water bottle's in here. I've been looking for this. I'm so used to my new mouse that this mouse feels so foreign to me now. <laughs> One of the guys who's here to write their wedding speech just took off. And now Christian and Francis are gonna play Spider-Man. So maybe I can live stream today. I didn't want to be antisocial and <laughs> live stream. But if they're just having a little boys gaming sesh, then I'm gonna have my gaming sesh. <laughs> just need to get more work done first. I actually have three orders to do. One though, I'm just waiting for the person to confirm their address with me because if, if someone's order doesn't arrive, I always double check their address because if I send it out and the address is incorrect, it's not going to arrive again, right? So I always like to double check. So I'm waiting for one of them, but it's just a, it's a Canadian one. It actually might be the one. I just got an email the other day saying that I had a package waiting for me at the post office from the, the address that is specifically my return address for the orders. So that might be that one. I'll find out. Oh, well, actually, they're probably closed Monday because Monday's a holiday. Find out Tuesday, maybe. <laughs> that one is closed on weekends, which kind of sucks because other post offices are open. It's nice that the Canadian ones get returned to sender because the international ones never do, pretty much. I mean, I recently got two back, but those were from my March pin, the March pin launch, and I just got them. And there's only, there's only two. I lost way more than two packages. <laughs> So usually if it gets lost, it's lost. So I've kind of just been dinking around on Twitter and YouTube for the last hour and a half. Wait, has it been that long? Yeah. Because once I was done packaging, it was already four and we decided we're all gonna go out for supper together. So I didn't want to start streaming, but I might after supper, depending what's going on. Look at this room though. Oh, I need to organize it soon, very soon. It's a mess, kinky. I'm going to be ordering different storage for my pins. It's gonna be something that sits up here. So a lot of the stuff that's sitting around the room, I could put into these cubby holes. So that will be nice. It'll look a lot more organized. I just realized it's not even five, so it hasn't even been an hour of thinking around. Well, huh. I'm like almost ready to go for supper because by the time we get the food, it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> She was like, as part of this, this initiation, you need to... <laughs> so while we were out for supper, Francis opened Pokemon Go, and he kept saying there were routes everywhere, and I thought, well, maybe it's community day, but it's too late in the day. I guess they just are later now. They used to be from 11 till 2, but today it was from 4 till 7, and so we whipped out our Pokemon Go, and we were playing it too at the table. By this time, there was only an hour left in the community day, and we hadn't even had gotten our food yet, so... We, we had 20 minutes of community day after we were done eating. <laughs> I don't play Pokemon Go anymore much. I always drop it in the winter and I just haven't really picked it back up since the weather got nicer. You know, it's hard to find time for it. But yeah, I caught quite a few routes still. I got enough candy and well, it really I could have used more because I, I got myself two Gardevoirs instead of Gardevoir and Gallade, but that's okay. I, I purposely did that, but I caught three shinies, well technically four, but the, the fourth shiny I caught on the final minute, right, as community day was ending. And so by the time he was actually caught in the ball, it was already past seven. And so then when it popped up to show me what he looked like and show his, that his stats, it was just a regular Ralts. I was so mad. But I guess I don't need all those shinies anyway. 
So I have a 100% Curlia that I got from a raid forever ago, and so I evolved that into a Gardevoir. But then I also wanted my shine, one of my shinies to be Gardevoir, so that's why I got two Gardevoirs. And so I don't have enough candy for Gallade, so you know maybe I'll get him someday. Now we're back, and we've we've gone through our Pokemon, evolved the ones we wanted to evolve, and it's 8:30 now, so it's kind of late to stream. I don't know, I'm torn. It's because if it's 8:30 here, then it's 11:30 on the east coast already mm. so i might just stick to my original plan of streaming monday or tuesday i was thinking maybe i can squeeze it in today but i think i'm gonna grade some pins that way i'm also not being antisocial. i can still be hanging out by the guys even though they're just playing their video games again <laughs> i can be sitting there grading my pins so i've discovered that cardboard cat scratchers like that one and flat ones they work really well for piercing pins into their backing cards because of the holes in the cardboard. I have a piece of foam somewhere. If you've seen me packaging the pins, you know. It's gold with the, the foamy black piece in the middle. The thing is the foam is a little bit too giving and so I still end up bending the backing card sometimes. So I, I made myself a little DIY cat scratcher <laughs> using some cardboard. There's tape around it and then the bottom is taped as well. So I'm going to try using this. It's not perfectly flat, but hopefully it still works well, because that way it's more rigid for keeping the backing card unbent, but is forgiving enough to allow the pin to pass through easily without the pin just getting stuck into the material. So let's give this a try. I might have to put music over this because the AC is loud. So here's progress. I had this bag of 100 dinos and then I have this much left. I decided to switch over to some other ones because I was getting a pretty good idea of what the ratio of A to B grades were like. And then I moved on to buns. I got this far into the bag and that's probably enough. Like I'm, I know pretty much how it's going. These are A grades, this is B. So I have a pretty good ratio for the buns. These turned out way better than they did last time because last time I had so many B grades, they're much, much better this time. But the thick dinos are worse. Right now they're sitting at about 50-50 A to B, which is not good. That's pretty close to what I had for the flower buns and mermaid buns last time. But if all the other designs have a good ratio, then that's fine. Sometimes they just look like poo poo. The enamel colors are always slightly different. Even the metal, the gold on this is slightly different. It's a little bit more of a yellow gold, but it looks a lot better because it's it's all one color. <laughs> so I'm done with these two designs for now. I'll just have to go through 
some of the duckies, the mermaid buns, and the Kiki Midna ones just to get an idea of what the ratio of good to bad is like. And then I can officially place the order for the new designs. As you saw in the video, I trimmed this down to be flatter. It was just too high. It was really awkward when it was double the thickness. So I cut all the pieces in half, so it's thinner now. Okay, it's now the next day. We're gonna be heading out to the wedding, but first we're stopping for lunch. And there's also a really big fish right there. We just had the ceremony and we're just kind of wandering around. We're gonna go to a pub or something before the reception. More duckies. I can't zoom in though, I'm just filming on my phone. I mean, I can, I can kind of, but it's, yeah. Yep. Ooh, where am I? Actually, I know. Hey, we're at the head table, yo. Thanks, Purples, thank you. Matches your shirt. Oh, I was gonna try to find that one. Oh, I got some grad. I think my mom took that picture. I was gonna bring up one. I have one of you and Ian on Twin Day <laughs> censored. I have one of oh. you and Ian on Twin Day. And I was gonna, I was gonna bring that up. That would have been a good one. It's on the computer at home somewhere on a on a hard drive somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what's right. This is just gonna be a short one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I love this idea. It's so cute. Yeah. Here you pull. Yeah. This is very blurry. There's like fingerprint smudges. Also, my front camera's not that good. There are people walking around with fancy drinks and fancy foods. It's very fancy. A spicy meatball. Is it carrots? What? No, that's carrots. So, during volleyball, I would often be on the line with Ian, and it was always a delight as I rolled up to the bar. it's the next day it is Monday today is a holiday and it's also the post wedding brunch and it's gonna be at Second Beach so I'm pretty excited I think that's a very good spot for it I'm just down here to grab some lawn chairs oh, this must be what I heard fall the other day or maybe yesterday this cooler is supposed to be up on the shelf I heard something tumble hard yesterday like a huge boom and I come I come out here and I was like what fell I didn't come into this room though. Was it the cats? Was it the ghost? I don't know. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Some bocce ball. Sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Fast forward, it's now the end of the night. We were at the beach area for about three hours and then came home and then I was super sluggish for a couple hours because it was just so hot and I was trying to muster up the energy to stream and I was like, Bailey, just start. It'll give you the energy. So yeah, then I streamed for four hours and 
now it's like almost it's almost 11 about quarter to 11. i started a shiny alolan raichu hunt in pokemon let's go which is a full odds hunt so one in four thousand and ninety six odds so it could be a long hunt but at the beginning of the stream i did come across a caterpie randomly that was shiny so that was cool but that is it for this vlog so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Don't you know